Hello, I wanted to show you an application running, an ArcGIS application running on the new Samsung Infuse. This is an Android device and what we've done is we've taken an Air application that we wrote originally we planned to put it on the uh, iPad which uh, we've shown videos on the blog for but this is the exact same code base so this is an Air application um, using the new ArcGIS 2.4 release uh, and this is running on a, an Android phone. Again, it's really optimized for um, the tablet, so a Galaxy or equivalent would be what this is built for, but um, I wanted to show it to you on the phone. It's loading a little slowly at the minute, as you can see. Um, but what we've got here is we've got um, an introductory window, actually. We've just added that, which allows, uh, which allows you to actually input an ArcGIS endpoint you want to add to the map. Um, by closing it that actually does add the endpoint. we're not going to do that for the minute the connections are a little slow here so as you can see it's a, it's, it's a, um, a rose base map it, it, it has um, uh, weather data overlaid on the top of it and you can see that uh, viewing gestures are working nicely um, top left, right hand corner here we've got the ability to change base maps from street to aerial um, We've got a number of tools at the top here, and again, if you've seen the uh, the iOS application, um, you'll have seen these before. So we've got a uh, ability to zoom to full extent. Again, it's loading slowly, but you're seeing that that's now going to the original extent that we loaded the map at. Um, we've got um, an about um, option here as well. Um, something we've just added to this one from the original version of the of the iOS app is now the ability to turn layers on and off again the pop-ups are large because it's really designed for the tablet but you can see here we've got the weather data if we hit that button the weather data goes away actually let's get rid of the base map as well there's the base map gone so we'll put that back we'll put the weather data back let's just uh, we'll get rid of that and we'll change things to satellite imagery and there's a satellite imagery now we've added the tools in here as well in the original application we uh, um, we had three tools the design of this application allows us to drop in as many tools or widgets as we want let's just bring up the tools panel there it is um, the three tools we've got currently is an, uh, the overview map so that loads the overview view map which gives that red uh, triangle showing you exactly where you are um, probably better if we had the base map as a, as a street map since we've got both here but we can we can pan there and you'll see that the base map underneath pans as well let's just go back um, we've got a geocoder which allows us to actually find an address and zoom to that address this will take just a second and there it is it's actually loading underneath it's actually added a point to the map as you can see there and it's zoomed into in this case it's in uh, it's in Salt Lake um, and it's just zoomed to that address um, there we can see that and then I'm just kind of quickly for time sake of time just go back and what we'll do is we just get the draw tool up um, we've simplified the draw tool in this version of things um, and this just simply allows us to draw on the map so let's just add a point to the map um, that's in blue at the minute and we'll add a blue point to the map as you can see let's add polygon let's change the color to red some kind of red and there it is Direct, this, the, uh, the, the size as well should be drawn on there as well you might be able to see that in the video so there it is an Android application I just want to close that again it's uh, really designed for um, the tablet but there it is so one code base that runs on iOS that runs on an Android and I'll do another video taking exactly the same code base and running on a on the uh, on a Blackberry device as well thanks for watching